Think about the last time that you came home from a trip or from vacation. When you walked through your front door, did you feel peaceful or did you feel stressful? Today, I'm gonna share with you the difference between decluttering and minimalism and why you should implement both. Hi, I'm Flora Sage, your minimalism mentor and simplification coach for over 27 years. I wanna kick off this video with a quote from the infamous Joshua Becker. Decluttering is getting rid of the things you don't need and minimalism is realizing how little you actually need. So going back to what we first talked about at the beginning of this video, think about going on vacation or going on a trip. And what if that trip was four weeks long and you could bring any amount of items that you wanted to. And during this trip, you would experience all four seasons. So you would experience spring, summer, fall, and winter. What items would you bring? Now, chances are you'd probably bring your favorite outfits, your favorite accessories or jackets or shoes or hats, and you wouldn't even think twice about it. You'd be like, oh, a week of summer, heck yeah, this is what I'm gonna grab. A week of fall, perfect, this is what I'm gonna grab. A week of winter, perfect. <laughs> and during each week, you could do all of your favorite activities for that season. What items would you choose? Now think about after you've done the packing and the choosing and the selecting, what's left in your home, in your closets, in your dresser drawers, what is left? Now, for those of you who have been following me for a hot minute, you know that I have a playlist called The Laundry Clutter Cure, which gives you a ton of tips on how to clear the mountain of laundry that most people have. <laughs> and laundry is actually one of the top items of clutter that a lot of people share that cause them so much stress. Now, I want you to think about the rest of your home. When you travel and you're in an Airbnb or an extended stay hotel, in the kitchen you typically have the basics and with a simple laundry room attached to it in some form or fashion, whether it's a closet or an actual room. And the furnishings are simple yet functional. Now, studies have proven that we use 20% of our belongings or 20% of our stuff 80% of the time. So when you realize how little you actually use in your home, it makes it so much easier to let go of the stuff that's keeping you from having a more peaceful experience. Really give yourself permission to just play around with the idea of what you actually need. Again, decluttering is removing the stuff that you're not using and Minimalism is recognizing how little stuff we actually need. A few weeks ago, I released a podcast episode number 198, and the title of that was The Invisible Pedestal of Importance. And we talk about how we put our unimportant things up on these pedestals for that elusive future, well, I might need it if someday, and how doing that robs you of your life and robs you of the only currency that you have in life, which is your time. If you're watching this video, you know that you're ready to let go of that 80% of the stuff that you know you're not using. So because of this, I have many, many resources for you. I have free gifts down below. I have an extensive PDF that helps you get started. I have a ton of playlists for you based on whichever area of your stuff that you're struggling with. And I also have complimentary coaching sessions available. So click all the links below, check it out. Share with me one thing in the comments that you've let go of that you are so relieved that you finally have that out of your space. And if you found today's video helpful, please like, subscribe, comment, turn on the notification bell so you know every single time an episode is released. For more support and resources, click the links below.